I wish it's 35 millimeter 1.7 lens on the Q, it will be perfect. But I wish it's 50. You know, if it's 50, it will be the perfect point and shoot street camera for photography. Okay, so we are not happy with the. You know. So you are not happy with this beautiful 20. What is it? 28? So we are not happy with the 28. So we are not happy with the crop that we have an option. We are not happy that there is tons of megapixel on this camera to choose from and to crop for whoever want to crop. And they wanted a little bit further kind of in your face lens for, for point and shoot. So let's put this outside. People know they're going to ask for a review. And <laughs> what to review on a camera? Almost everybody knows what is the Q1, 2, 3, all about. It just, you put a different lens on it. <laughs> I mean, this is something to be, you need to be intelligent to know? Or is it something for you to say, I need to go to university and I need to understand when I put um, maybe, I don't know, like <laughs> if I put like a zoom lens and I zoom in, the subject will be closer. And if I zoom out, the subject will be like, you know, far from me. <laughs> you don't need a scientist <laughs> and you don't need an idiot to tell you that it's the same camera. It just, instead of 28, it's 45, 43, 40. So what's the whole point of this video? The whole point of this video that sometimes wishes come true. So when your wish come true, let's see how this is going to be handled. Um, I didn't wish it's 20, the 27 it's 30. I didn't wish it's 50. I didn't wish it's even anything. The reason it's been like this, let's put our position into their shoe, like our position in their shoe, right? So they said, let's everybody like 35, which is cool. Everybody like, you know, the, like, let's say, let's say um, 20. They like the ultra wide. So why don't we just be like, let's meet in the, in the middle. Right? So they said, okay, 28 is fair enough. Like if you put seven plus 28, seven millimeter, you will have this 35 look, which I don't know if it's a look, but you have the range of 35, which everybody love in a way. I don't really, I don't, I don't love it. So, you know, the majority of people ask for it. Probably they don't even buy the whole camera anyway. So this is one option. Or they say, okay, like, if we're going to put 40 lens on it, or 45, 43, whatever that 40 thing is, where are you going to use it? How are you going to use it? So is it really versatile, like, or not? And then they said, like, why we'll put a crop feature that people like, okay, if they feel like they are far away, I know what they're going to say now about, about the, the vibe, relax. So I know when you crop, you're going to have a little bit close-up photo to your face, right? And of course, of course, of course, of course, everybody relax. You're going to say the 40 length is not like the 28 length. And this is what I said all the time in my videos. This is what I was, that's why I bought this, the 28 lens, well, the Q. Why? Because of this kind of look. Because when you have like SL, TL, CL, all these interchangeable lenses, so you can play with the with the with the focal length, whatever you want. Especially when you have zoom ones, 24 to 90, you have the 18 to uh, 18 to 55, all that thing. Anyway, I don't want to get to the whole 
specification, what's good, what's bad. But this have a vibe on its own. It's a brand new camera, point and shoot camera, expensive for what it is compared to the other point and shoot cameras. That's for sure. It needs to be like this because it's a like a thing. It's the brand. It's the handmade. It's Germany. You know, you put all that in a salad. It's become a great meal or a great dish. So, but when you start now adding like, when you, when we start thinking of like, I wish the 20, like the 28 now on the lens, on the camera, it's, a little bit wide it's for sure now if you have the 45 or the 43 whatever that 40 thing is so when you have the 40 lens on the queue you are stuck with a very I don't want to say close-up range it's a it's a nice range but for what a very it's not for everything range <laughs> so I'm not complaining about this I, I have a 50 lens on SL so I shoot with that fashion and I'm going to review this. I'm going to make a video about reviewing how amazing this lens is. But you have to understand, I bought it for one specific, one, one specific job to shoot models, solo models. I'm, I'm a fashion photographer, as you know. Also, don't forget that when I, when I bought this lens, what you can look at my video, I said I want this to have a specific look. I'm not looking for the 1.1 and 1.2 aperture and this whole stupid bouquet. It's, it's, this is all bullshit. This is for kids. We are talking about people understand photography. So when I start having this 40, 40 ish millimeter lens on a point and shoot camera, I need to know what, what, how I'm going to use it for and what I'm going to use it for. Um, it's not going to be like, a fun photo, for, for, like uh, point and shoot, right? Like if I'm sitting like in a chair and I just want to take a picture of something, it's going to be a little bit 40. <laughs> so it's not wide. Now, but on the other hand, if it's now, if this came first with this lens, which I doubt it will ever be anyway, imagine this. Q340 came out first. You're gonna start wishing for I wish it's 25 or I wish it's 30. So this shows how we live in, I don't wanna say confused, but dramatic, idiotic world that people just, just they, it's like everybody want to have their own specification with their own camera and it's not going to happen it's just enjoy what's there these companies are soon they're going to lose their reputation anyway i'm not being mean but this is true uh, i will talk about this later in other videos le le we will keep it in the like a talk video about they're discontinuing the SL now line, like the SL1, SL2. So SL1 is already gone. Now this, I think they're discontinuing the SL2, SL2S. So why? It's a, I thought it's a great camera. It's the innovation. It's Leica. It's like the one aiming for professionals. Now you're discontinuing this thing and we have to all jump on the S3, SL3. What if people don't want the SL3? Now, this is when need, everything needs to be done right from the first place. This is when the team needs to think of how to be better, but one big solid step at a time. Not, not, not like now we're experimenting, like we're in a, in a lab with a bunch of rabbits and rats, and we are doing experimental, and then we say, like, this is the best medication. No, this one is best. Let's put this like for next month. No, just make one good medication take your time and just put it out there and make people buy it all the time. But now people don't buy your camera all the time in a way because they're going to say, we have another camera coming in line. I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. So it's, it's, not like a it's not a good str strategic move. We'll talk this in a Leica talk because it's going to be a longer video. But this one is a little bit talking and reviewing without reviewing a camera. Why? Because just imagine in your camera, I don't know if you have a, like SL with a 24 to 90, just put 50 there 
and see if this is a range it's for suitable for you to walk around with it now with my 50 on my Leica SL I don't photoshoot a lot of people with it I don't photoshoot a lot with it I take it for my editorial fashion jobs more like it have to be taken and thoughts to think of what I'm gonna do with it and this is it job done that's it now I want to have more fun I take my TL with my 18 to 56 or I take my like a QP or you know I have something also another one in order and you will be shocked what is it but I still didn't get it yet but I'll, when I get it I'll let you know so why different range different vibe now when I start getting closer to the subject it's you are very specific now with your point and shoot scenario now this is what you want with all mean the cameras out there and the price is a little bit higher of course because the optics you know when you buy a lens of 28 it's not like the same you buy a lens with 50 right if you buy 24 to 90 it's not like the same lens you buy for 20 24 to 70. so it's obvious there is a price reference difference even though it's the same camera uh, of the Leica Q3 they just put a different focal length on it so you will have a closer look without cropping now of course you still can crop so let's say this is going to be 40-ish 50-ish 70-ish maybe you can you can go to 100 but the 100 is going to be cropped from the 40 so what's the point anyway will me as a fashion photographer will jump on board to buy this kind of a camera point and shoot like a Q3 with this 40-ish millimeter I doubt it and I don't think so why because if I want to do something like this like let's go further with this kind of like a like a rangefinder amazing setup from Leica I will just right away jump with the M system because first of all you can change lenses you are not stuck with this focal length I don't know if this is kind of adding to the portfolio maybe it's a good thing for the for the Leica or I'm sure listen let's let's get this straight also let's think about it outside the box if you want to think in a in a really deep 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 down the pool how it works the Leica Q3 this is the body this is a QP by the way so but this is the Leica body of the Q3 no lens attached for now and, and we are talking about I'm in a factory right now and I have a bunch of like I don't know I have like a thousand Q3 bodies of course we need to attach the lens right and we make you know we put the leather la 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 and then we put it for sale we pack it we put it in a packaging we put it for sale this thing I can control so let's say this is 28 right so the only thing they did actually is they kept the Q3 body and they didn't attach the 28 on it they removed it or they didn't put anything yet they said like okay the, the body is empty anyway it's a raw body they can put 100 also right so they put the 40-ish link, uh, length uh, lens on it and that's it they close it they seal it it's like as is the 28 so it's not like really that big of a, like a difference of it's a brand new camera or something like this they just you know it's not a really loss for them they just have to maybe just make a specific specific lens cut for this kind of like um, body so they actually you know it it were of course they as they adjust it and do the whole computerized thing and everybody's a happy family so it's not like a big production it's not a last production so they said like okay the q3 can be on board and we have nothing to lose instead of us making actually more q3 with the 28 it, they say like why don't we just before we attach it we just make a 40-ish length 43 or 45 length and everybody's happy and we'll see let's see how it rolls and if not we will just continue like that if not we still have the bodies for different purposes maybe maybe they're gonna make a q4 <laughs> with the same setup with a different look with a different lens and the same thing everything is the, i don't think they're gonna make it from the ground up they cannot make it how how photography today we reach the end of it especially in digital when, uh, let's keep this talk for the like a talk because it's gonna be interesting because we're gonna talk about like in the film generation you had the film for hundreds of years in a way 
in the digital world, what it, we're like a brand new, like what is it, less than 20 years in a way, and we have so many different type of cameras. And there, we just have one type of camera in a way, and we just put the film in it when we focus on photography. Today, we have so much megapixels, the crop sensor, the full sensor, and this whole baloney, and the lenses, and the look, and why don't we just focus on the quality more than, than the lineup of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the camera? So why don't we keep the Leica Q3, for example, or the Leica Q4, or the limited edition one with the 40, for example? I, I mean, I don't know how the team really thinks, but maybe they need to spice up a little bit or maybe change the team. <laughs> you know, a lot of, you know, listen, when you, when you, when you study business, when you think of business, um, you start, you need to think of it in, in like the whole bubble thing. Um, today we are living in a new generation with the old generation, especially when it comes to the kind of originality of like, I don't want to say like it's a family business thing, but like, you know, it's mixed with all people. And look at, look at the, the directors, look at the engineers, you know, they are like, you know, 50 plus, so 50 years old, right? So it's not all, it's not bad. Uh, now talk to them about something new and something fresh. They may still have stucking with this old mentality of like, this is not us and they start making rules and you know, you start seeing a new Bible. But when they hire two new fresh faces with the new fresh ideas, it's like, yeah, we need something fresh for the company with our old ideas and old uh, habits. This is when the mix is wrong. You don't mix old with new. You have to actually not mix mix. You need to like talk to each other and make sure this marriage is amazing and then make a baby. <laughs> so, but you don't say, okay, come here. You're look, you know, you're like in your twenties, thirties, you're like software, whatever engineer, whatever, all this doesn't matter anyway. So give us your, your like, you know, your new generation talk and the new generation ideas and uh, the digital thing and the scrolling of the stupid phones and all that thing. What do you think? It's like, yes, this is what the new generation want now. Really? No, <laughs> because the new generation cannot even afford to buy a coffee. <laughs> so how are they going to afford to buy something like this? So, but they listen to the, I don't want to say the wrong people. They are like maybe having not the freshest innovation, not the, the, the thing, they keep the originality there and tell them, hey, you are original with your ideas. Let's keep it this way. Let's not jump to the system and, and compete. Let, if, let's leave the competition to the others and fo us focus on something unique. That's why people keep buying us. Look at the M system. People still buy it like crazy and they don't make a lot of M's like well before. That's why when you go to the store, you, you buy the same M, the same M until like God knows when. But now, oh, I'm not gonna buy it now, it's okay. I will just buy it either from the second market or I'll just buy it uh, in, in six months because you guys are making the, I don't know, like the Leica Q, Leica Q3S. So you, lo you lost a sale on the spot. So this is wrong for this company. They, they like you, instead of us, making us a sale, you left the, you, you make us leave, uh, like the customer left us because he's waiting for the, for the, for the Leica S, like a three, uh, sorry, the Leica Q3S, but the Leica Q3 is sitting there for them to buy it, but he didn't buy it because he, he wanted the better one. So the, the company now started getting in a weird, awkward way. So back to the Q340, yes. <laughs> um, whoever is buying it, enjoy it. The optics is going to be great. The camera itself is going to be good. I, I, ha I have the camera. I don't need to have a, the, the, the latest sensor to say this is the best and this is better than this. <laughs> Let's not go there at all. This is, <laughs> and you're, the wrong, you're talking to the wrong person about this situation. So let's skip this discussion. So enjoy the camera. Enjoy what it, like, it can give you. It, it, like the following of the technology is now we reach the limit. Now everything else is just like, you know, like kissing your ass to buy it and they're fooling you and they manipulate you and they lie to you. This is the best. And we reach already the maximum. 
There is, people want IBIS, people want this. Like, this is photographer, for God's sake. Just hold your hand and just click it. That's it. Oh, I missed the shot. You're already not doing anything anyway with your shot. Don't, you didn't miss anything anyway. So in this department, relax. Well, thank God with whatever you get. You don't need an IBIS to get like a shot of a tree moving with the wind. You're like, ugh. So with this like a Q3 with a 40-ish length, it's, it's a great, it, it, for, listen. If this came first before the 28 on the Leica Q or the Leica QP, whatever, or in the Leica Q series, like if, it, if, if the focal length was 40, I would buy it still. And uh, of course, other people are going to whine and mine and get like, oh, I wish it's 30. It's too, it's too close up. But for me, as a fashion photographer, I know close up, it's nice for me. Why? Because the compression it makes, this length, the compression is really good. But you have to understand, what do you want to use it for? What is it like? Are you going to really point and shoot with it? It's a close up thing. So now you're going to be more moody with it. The 28 on the Leica Q's, Q family, before this one, it's more of a nice wide range of everything and you can crop a little bit without losing too much you know you crop in that's it it's not like a really really big scientist it's a science thing so you just crop in you get the shot and that's it but the 28 it have more versatility that's for sure the 40 ish it doesn't have why because i'm, te I'm telling you from my 50 lens from my 50 millimeter like sl 10, mill 10 millimeters, 7 millimeters, they're not going to make a really a big difference, believe me. But we are there with the focal length. With the 40, 45, 43, 50, 48, we still have this kind of range of compression, of close-up. And what is it for? My, I cannot wander around with my Leica SL with the 50. I'm not talking about the size. I'm talking about the focal length, what I'm going to do with it. Because it's just right there. And especially if you want to dial it down to 2.8, uh, 3.5, you're going to start having this kind of the focus thing. What do you want to do with the focus thing? I cannot come close. If I want to come closer to someone, the whole background is gone. So what do you want this for? This is important for you to ask your question. So that's very much about it. But for me to go and have fun and enjoy and go on coffee and just shoot people and do like the sneaky stuff and, and even want to shoot models on the go or someone has just scouted or just like fun photos, the 28, it gives amazing thing. And I'm bracing it a little bit because Leica made it for us to talk about how nice they start innovating things and they didn't take the route of 30, 35 or something a bit more compressed or not too wide, not too close. It's like, it's not even in a sweet spot. It's a good range. By the way, the 28 is almost the same range of your, of your stupid phone. Like the phone is, what is it, 23, 24, 25. It's the same thing. So your phone, when you, when you first put it on, you turn it on and you want to try to take a picture of whatever because you're a professional photographer, it's the same range of the 28. Four here, five there, it doesn't matter. But we're talking about the same range of like the view. Imagine your phone, the, the stupid one that you have with you, that it has it start from 40 right away. Uh, you may feel different or you may go, so you're going to say like it's not practical, but the, the Q3, the 40-ish millimeter lens, it's very specific for specific people, for specific needs. I would love to buy it, but why do I need to buy it? And I already have maybe, a, I don't want to say better, but a different rendering of um, great colors, uh, better optics, of course, the bigger, the better. That's for sure. The, is, you know, people still don't understand this kind of a thing because they think the phone is the most important thing. Anyway, we will talk about all this in my in next video, like a talk video. And that's very much about it. I don't think I, I like this range for me personally, right? You're different. It's like you, you want to jump on board with a new lens, with a, with a close up lens. First thing you open it, you're going to see everything close to you. Then you're going to understand, it's like, okay, what do I do with this camera now? This is where you're going to understand what to do with this camera. Um, I'm sure if anybody from like have been interviewed, I, I, I don't follow up really with this thing because. You know, they're going to say like, you know, people ask this to do this. We, we listen to the feedback, but this is all wrong. Feedback is not important. The, when you start listening to feedback, 
especially from people whining and dining for this, this is when you start becoming a normal cam a camera company. And this is when you start becoming, you are racing to do what people want and they don't even buy it, whatever this, how, how much you have in stock. And this is when, uh, when the company start being less special. So whoever is going to be more special, whoever is going to make something different, and people jump on board there were, and they're going to get bored, and they're going to... But, you know, the luxury of photography starts fading away, really. Uh, before, we used to have a... We still have Leica in a, in a scene playing the, the luxury thing, but now we are losing them. We're going to talk about this later, but this is for the Leica Q3. People are going to ask about, okay, what is the whole point of this video? If you don't understand anything from what I said, that's meaning you are really high. <laughs> but really, seriously, um, again, enjoy the Leica Q3, the 40-ish length. It's, I think it's a good length because on a point and shoot camera, it's different and it's weird at the same time. It's not negative. It's, it's not positive. It's just, this is the length. That's it. So, why? Because I, I, I lived with it. I lived with this length on my Leica S system, the medium format, the 70, the 70 millimeter. By the way, the 70 millimeter, if you want to convert it to the Leica Q3, 45, it's almost the same, 50 millimeter. So you're talking about 50 millimeter for the 45 to 43 is the same in a way. You know, a little bit here, a little bit there, it's not making any difference. So I lived for, with it for four, four, -ish, four years, four or five years, something like that. Just shooting with the Leica S medium format with this lens. Look at my video, it's there. So it wasn't for everything, that's for sure. That's why I'm telling you that when you have a specific lens, like what I have with my Leica SL, what I have my, with my Leica S medium format, I was very specific with things. But when I had the Leica, like when you have, like, for example, the 16 to 35, pff, you can go crazy. So the whole point of shoot, the whole point of this point and shoot camera is to have more fun. But now we are going to the more specific genre of people. Like we are like already in a specific genre of not everybody buying the Q3 because it's expensive. So, okay, I can buy the Q3. It's not, the money is not a problem. Now you, are, you need more specific people to, to buy the, like a Q340. I think it's a good, it's a nice move. It's a different for the portfolio. But again, inside now, inside the system, inside the camera company, the team, it's a bit on the zigzag board because of the lineup they're making. They forgot that they are special. They forgot that they need to, when people go to the store, they need to buy what's in the shelf, not to say, I'm waiting for the Leica SL3S. I'm, wa I'm waiting for the Leica S4 because you guys are making now cameras every six months. <laughs> so this is wrong. I'm, uh, not every six months, but when you start racing, this is wrong. And you're not special and uh, like, I'm not going to believe you the second time because you, get, you already said this in the first generation or the, the, the previous generation. So what's going to make this special? And you're going to say this on the next generation or the, or the next, next generation. So you know what I mean? You know how it's rolling, right? right? So like the Leica SL is the god and it is still, I have two. The Leica SL2, it's becoming, uh, you know, a little bit nice. Okay, more this, more this. Keep it this way. Maybe fix it a little bit with a firmware. Make it amazing. No, let's put it on the side. Let's make SL2S2. Now, this is the one everybody needs. Downgrading from the, like SL2. <laughs> but why you made it from the first place? And then now we have the XL3. <laughs> it's like, why are you making the SL3? And you already said the God, but you said the God is SL2S. So this whole salad, it's coming from a not a good planning team because when I go to the store and I see the like SL and the SL2 I need to pick one of them I'm not gonna tell them I'm gonna wait for the like SL3 it may be amazing I already have the like SL3 and people are going back to the to something different anyway we'll, we'll talk about this in the like a talk video anyways thank you so much for watching uh, talking about like a Q and the like a Q3 and the like SL and the like SL3 and the like S medium format Join us at Like a Group. I made a really cool, amazing group called Like a Group on Facebook. I'll just put you the link. You can click on it and it goes, takes you right away there. 
Everybody share their amazing photos, ideas, discussion. It's a great club. We have like what, 19,000-ish? 500, 19,500, it's amazing. You can see people what they're doing with their cameras. And I can't wait to see, or I, I saw some people already posting the Leica Q340 <laughs> photos from it. Some people say like the focus is not really accurate. Uh, I don't know, they have issues, I think. But uh, we will talk about this also in a different video, more longer video. It's, this is already long. But you know, nevertheless, you know, people wanna listen to good discussion. They don't wanna listen to a commercial alcohol, 60 seconds, this, 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 this. You're listening to wisdom. You're listening to value information. You are not gonna find anywhere in this 7 billion you know, people in the world that nobody's making like a videos like this. And please check my work. The one who is talking too much about wisdom and talking about focal, different focal length and different camera bodies and different, you know, systematic things. Have a look at my work that speaks for itself and that I used a lot of different lenses and different bodies from Leica itself. And you can see what I'm talking about, even though you're not gonna guess, but I'm telling you one thing that it's all about you and what you need this lens and this body for. Check it out at ramseyspencer.com, ramsino.com, experttv.com. And if you'd like to see some of my backstage here and there with models and all the stuff, fun stuff, you can check me out at Ramsey Spencer. And that's very much about it. All the time, you have to understand one thing. Your camera is your tool to take photos. Now, what you want it for, and then you can take it from there. But the camera, it's a thing, but the lens, it's another thing. And believe me, when I said I lived four, -ish, four, to, four to five years in one body and one lens, and it was even a medium format. It wasn't a fun, speedy format. Medium format, like a S system. You know, the like S, 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 S2, S1, S2, S3. So, it's not a speedy camera. The ISO need to be specific. So when you have this kind of a specific focal length and you work with it for four, almost five years, you really need to know what you're doing in photography, even though it's gonna be only point and shoot because the Leica Q is a fast, fun camera, point and shoot camera that you are just here just to point and shoot. But when you are close enough to, to anything you want, especially with people, I think it's gonna be amazing on people, you have to understand for how long you need all this thing for. For me, um, if I don't have my like, I'm telling you a very positive thing. Go and get it. It's a nice thing. And I don't have any links or anything. You just go to the Leica store and just go and get it. <laughs> Say hello. Um, if I don't have this, if I don't have the Leica SL50, I will consider buying something like that for specific jobs. But because, you know, I'm a professional photographer and I know quality matters at the max, I always spend for quality. Now, I shoot with this fashion. It's not, it's not a bad thing, even though, forget about the price. We're talking about if this lens fits my needs. And I said it many times in my video. I'm afraid that this lens will make people look different, smaller, the compression, the background, the distortion, all that thing. These things people don't understand until now. They just look, okay, amazing, crop, amazing. But there is a character in the lens that people forget about. They may say, oh, I know, but they will forget about it right away. Anyway, we'll talk about this in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. And always remember that just know what you want to do with your photography, even though if, you're, if it's a professional or even though it's just for fun. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.